Welcome back, guys. This is the first time with our new Chinese-only ceramic coatings test, and it gets to see water. Some of these need a full seven-day cure time before washing, but are good for water contact after 12 to 24 hours, some even less than that. So these were installed on September 26, 2021, and it has only been four days. So we will wash it later this week, but I couldn't wait to find out what's going on here with just water, so let's check it out. You can see my control right in the top there. Water is sticking to it very well. Everything else hydrophobic. So let's see if we see any that are less hydrophobic. We've got one down there, Luck Bonzo and Shine Polisher. Looking a little weak. Emperor Hokasi, looks like mud armor, looks a little weak but you know, nothing where we're gonna call it failed or even weak, just diminished hydrophobics slightly. Yosisku looks a little weak there too compared to the others around it. I guess it helps having the control right next to it for the ultimate 50-50. Global Auto, you can see that looks all right. These are some of the sprays on this side. Luck Bonzo is not, that is a ceramic coating. That's in that bright blue, bright blue bottle. You can see it's not doing too well. Neither is Shine Polisher, which is the Shine Armor knockoff. And there's a few of those in here. Warixen or Warizen, it's in another one of my tests and it's doing okay. So, you know, I would kind of expect that it'd be doing all right here. Nano Bond and Nano Age, same deal. We've tested those a couple times. Very inexpensive, anywhere between $10 and $30 for those, depending on where you get them. A lot of these came from AliExpress and the rest of them came from Amazon. Eel Ho, that one is advertised as a 10H plus. Some places call it a 12H coating, which of course doesn't exist. 10H is the highest of the pencil hardness. HK Tianmei, D-Pro, both looking all right. The infamous Mr. Fix and Mr. Fix, well, Mr. Fix 9H, Mr. Fix 10H. I've talked about this in the past. The biggest issue with those two in, in particular are that they are so inconsistent. You may get one and it lasts two years and you may get one and it lasts a couple weeks. And that's been my experience. I've probably had about six or seven different batches now of those and it's just, it's been all over the board. There's the Luck Bonzo and Shine Polisher. You can see, would you call those failed or weak? I think Luck Bonzo I'd call weak. Shine Polisher, yeah, that's, I think they're gonna make it past the first rinse, but based on how they're looking here, they're probably not gonna make it past the first wash. So I wouldn't call either of those failed just yet, but they are well on their way. So the Shine Armor copy is on the Shine Armor real spot also, because if you saw the install video, which I will leave a link in the description, Shine Armor canceled my order three different times. I think they're either on to what I do or there's some other issue, but I couldn't get a hold of it, despite it being the one of the best-selling products on Amazon in the auto detail category. 4.2, all of those others, Fantastic XML looking a little bit weak. So there's your update. This hood is now going to sit outside and we will check on it here in a week and do our first, rain, or our first wash. We do have some rain expected this evening. So this hood it will, already get some precipitation on it, more than just sitting outside in the heat. It's still pretty warm here in Texas. The heat index was almost 100 degrees today or 39 Celsius. So it is still warm despite it being fall, headed towards winter. So thanks for watching guys and we will see you soon.